Hello everyone, today I am Bhor Jain is here to present a presentation about digital certificate signature. So we'll begin. What are digital certificates? A digital certificate is a digital file that certifies the identity of an individual or institution or even a router seeking access to computer based information. It is issued by a certification authority and serves the same purpose as a driver's license or a passport. What are certification authorities? Certification authorities are the digital world's equivalent to passport offices. They issue digital certificates and validate holders' identity and authority. They embedded an individual or institution's public key along with other identifying information into each digital certificate and then cryptographically sign it as a temper-proof seal verifying the integrity of data within and validating its use. What is the process of obtaining certificate? Subscriber sent CA publishes certificate to public online repository and subscriber signs message with a private key and send message to second what is the process of obtaining certificate option ca private key then certificate for bob's public key signed by ca types of digital certificates there are four main types of digital certificates number one server certificates number two personal certificates number three organization certificates number four developer certificates Server certificates allow visitors to exchange personal information such as credit card numbers free from the threat of interception or tampering. Server certificates are must for building and designing e-commerce sites as confidential information is shared between clients, customers and vendors. Personal certificates Personal certificates allow one to authenticate a visitor's identity and restrict access to specified content to particular visitors. Personal certificates are perfect for business-to-business -business communications such as offering suppliers and partners controlled access to special websites for updating product availability, shipping dates and inventory management. Organization and developer certificates. Organization certificates are used by corporate entities to identify employers for secure email and web-based transaction. Developer certificate. What does digital certificate contain? It contains your name, a serial number, expiration date, a copy of certificate holder's public key used for encrypting messages and digital signatures, and a digital signature of the certificate issuing authority so that a recipient can verify that the certificate is real some digital certificates conform to the X.509 standard. Example of a certificate. As you can see in the PPT, serial number, unique to issuer, information about the certificate owner, including algorithm and key value itself, belongs to. And below that, there, there are serial numbers, except the certificate authority for certifying network sites, providing the identity of the sender of a transaction, non-repudiation, the owner of the certificate cannot deny partaking in the transaction. Private key pairs uh, comprise of two uniquely related cryptographic keys. As the name suggests, public key is accessible to everyone, whereas private key remains confidential to its respective owners. Why are digital certificates used? There are a number of internet applications uh, where the digital certificate is used. Uh, number one would be SSL, that is Secure Socket Layer. Second, Secure Multipurpose Internet Mail Extension. The third would be Secure Electronics Transaction, that is SET. And the fourth would be Internet Protocol Secure Standard, uh, so that is IPSEsec. Why do we need digital certificates? We need digital certificates
it's it, for a number of things like for virtual malls, electronic banking, and other electronic services that offer luxurious luxury for one's home. How do we? Uh, there are two ways. Uh, if one can want one of you the digital certificate on their PC, one is for the MS Explorer users, and the next is Netscape users. For MS Explorer users, you can open your MS Internet Explorer, click on the tools menu, drop uh, from the drop down list, select internet options, click the content tab and click the certificate buttons. You can view your certificate uh, from the MS Explorer like this. For Net Netscape users, you can just open In your Netscape communicator, click on the communicator menu. From the drop down list, select the tools and then security info. The last step would be click on the certificate link to view and learn more about each certificate type stored by the Netscape. This is how your Netscape certificate would look like. Now I'm going to tell you the advantages of digital certificate. Uh, it has decreased the number of password passwords a user has to remember to gain access to different network domains. They create an electronic audit trail that allows companies to track down who executed a transaction or accessed an area. So these. These are the advantages of the digital certificate. Now, I'm going to tell you if digital certificates are vulnerable. Uh, uh, so, one problem with the digital certificate is it where it resides once it, op it is obtained. The owner certificate sit sits on his computer and it is a sole responsibility of the owner to protect it. If the owner walks away from his computer, Others can gain access to it and use his digital certificate to execute unauthorized business. The last uh, uh, vulnerability would be the best way to address vulnerabilities of digital certificate is by combining them with biometric technology as that confirms the actual identity to the sender rather than the computer. So now I'm going to tell you about PKI that is public key infrastructure. encryption and de decryption. Public key infrastructure provides a framework for addressing the previously illustrated fundamentals of security. Uh, encryption is converting of data into seemingly random incomprehensible data and de de decryption is a reversing encryption via the use of public and private keys. So in conclusion, Public key cryptography is used in message authentication and key distribution, whereas key management is achieved by digital certificates, which are a mechanism that enables distribution of keys to participants exchanging information. They ensure the confidentiality of these messages and the authentication of the participants. The strength of digital certificates through X 509 lies inter ILA in the fact that they have been standardized by the ITUT.